Hi everyone, today I just tell you how to bypass the um, transporter key for my uh, Alpha Romeo 147. Uh, yeah, uh, this car I just bought on the second hand, they only come with one key. And I try to call the, the Alpha Romeo dealer, they say they will cost more than $400 per one key. So, so ridiculous. Now we have to find out a way how to how to bypass the uh, transporter. So, but first, need to forget my English. I'm not in a, a English background, right? So, first, need we take out the um, transporter sensor. They normally locate in uh, the key wing here. Take out the cover and take out the uh, the wing sensor. This is a sen transporter sensor. They normally got the two wires connected, and also we had to find out on the key which position is make the sensor working, and the sensor will be detected chips. So we had to find out on your on your remote key. Yeah. Right here, put my chips it's in here. Now it's our idea of take off. I put it in here. Alright, we have to turn. Put the key back to there. And once the ignition will be up to here. So just for about that area. Extra sensor. Now we have to take out the uh, wing again. Okay. So is it from the kick to the sensor? For this car, it's between the sensor to the kick, about the central. But you have to try before you make sure the holes. All right. So what we need to do, we have to put the sensor stable in here. What we need to do, we need to uh, we cut a piece of the, the water hose, just a plastic hose, and side by side about 50. And we cut a little bit piece from there. The piece will be go into the crate from the from the sensor to the crate. But we have to find out how to find a way how to make it stable. So for me, I just <laughs> doesn't matter. I use a electrical tap. Now we have to make a hole in here. Here's a hole in the central because my my uh, my car the chips the chips is in the central. So we made a hole. Now make it like that and put the chips in. Don't don't worry don't worry about the the four holes. I try another way, but not working. Now I just uh, put the chips in. The chips remove from your take out from your remove, and then put it like that here, and use an electrical tap, wrap it up, make sure it's not easy to come off. Okay, and then. We pull it back to the uh, to the, this wing next to the uh, sensor and the crate. All right, put it like that. Okay, so looks like that. But maybe you can go on. You can make it. Better than me, 
I just for testing. All right. So now we we'll put it back and. All right, this is the key I remove from the from the remote. I think I'm gonna remove, all right? And we put it back and testing. Okay, see bypass. Start the engine. I need to say if the view, if the sensor, alright, my chip my chips in here, sensor here, remote, will they will and there's the key, they will not start. It. And the computer will say faulty. So when you put the uh, the chip back to there. Now it's last not. We put it back there. Make sure it's wide position. And then we start again. We have to. Checking. See? Bypass the transporter sensor. Start. All good. Lock. And take out the key. Now, use this way. You can take take the key to your local lost meet and copy how many how many key you want. So don't worry about don't worry about the uh, transporter chip because there's a wall ID in there. So hopefully this way can help you to save the money. Thanks.